trailer reaction from Hyper RPG. Woo! Super stoked. Step into the spotlight. Woo! Oh my I'm god. So ready. We're doing this trailer reaction so for ready. Marvel's yes. Black Panther. We have our good friend Jay Washington here. How oh, you doing, man? I'm good, man. I'm happy to be here. Excited Thank for this, so man. For Thank you for having me, man. Black so, Panther. Yeah, you you, yeah, you yeah. mentioned that this trailer is very similar to the Comic-Con trailer. Yeah, this is the trailer they released at Hall H that security was on everybody. <laughs> they made oh. sure this did not get out in yeah. any like the Avengers, the Avengers Infinity War trailer leaked for a little bit. I was surprised that leaked. That leaked, leaked for a little bit. Eyes. And then of course Disney and Marvel made sure they mm -hmm. took it down everywhere. Yeah. But this one was so highly protected that it has not been released. And it was shown like three different occasions. And this is the one at Comic Con that the cast saw that they hadn't even seen before. Nice. Oh, yeah. And if you heard the stories, the cast saw this and went crazy. Yeah. And so when the cast sees a movie, there and they're like, "Oh my they go crazy. god, yeah. yo! Yeah. Like you got something there." So, yeah, I think. Yeah, I, and yeah, I, I, yeah. So like, I was in the I was in the Marvel Studios panel. I got to see the that version of the trailer. I'm sure if this is very similar, it's probably going to be basically what I saw, but. That first trailer was so damn that teaser, good. It was just a teaser. <laughs> so good. And everybody was like, wait, wait, this isn't the real thing? I, before this trailer came out today, I was like, wait, what What did I watch then? What was that back then? <laughs> I because I don't know what's going on. Yeah, Dude. That was crazy because, I mean, yeah, for a teaser, it was really dynamic and really fun. And, and you could like, pick apart memorable. and you would look memorable. at a different thing. It showed you the beauty of what they put together to be Wakanda. Yeah. You got to see uh, Angela Bassett as Rwanda. Mm -hmm. You got to see Forrest Whitaker as, as uh, I forgot his name exactly in it. Uh, you got to see Dinah Guerrero. You got to see the Dora Milaje. Yeah. Yep. You got to see everything that they were bringing in different parts in just that much time. Yeah. And that end scene and that little teaser with the flip over the car and the land, everybody was like, well, I'm going to go ahead and make new plans for this movie right now. <laughs> we're like, uh, where can I buy, buy, buy my Black Panther costume? Probably, right probably the most downloaded song in like. Shouts out to Run the Jewels. So good. Yo. Bum, bum, yeah. bum. <laughs> like, Run the so Jewels, good. legend has it. Got downloaded like immensely. Like Killer Mike was like, "Yo, where all this at?" He knew what was happening, yeah. but like Killer Mike all of a sudden got a check. It was like, "Thank you, Ryan Coogler." <laughs> he uh, didn't realize it. He didn't realize what yeah. this fan base could do for his music. I, I don't think I, I, I think, went. I downloaded all their albums. Yeah. <laughs> See, people yeah. who knew, were not familiar with Run the Jewels, yeah. they went and got this, and they got the whole album, got the albums before. But again, that was a teaser. Right. right we have right. the official trailer. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, I had no idea about Run the Jewels. The only the only thing I knew about Run the Jewels is that they did one of their cats. I'm sorry, one of their albums, the cat version of it. So they they changed the music and they added cats to the music to one of their albums. Interesting. Yeah. So that one got Snoop Dogg's attention, and that's how they started like collaborating with Snoop Dogg. Oh. So it's it's crazy, and that's all I knew of them that they did a weird cat concept album. Then I heard them in this trailer. I was like, what? That's Run the Jewels. That's incredible, and that's when I started. So I remember to social media was going crazy for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And again, you going crazy over a cast that, like, if you follow social media, one of the tags besides Black Panther so lit, that's what it's been, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. has been Black Excellence because you have the upper echelon and up and coming yeah. stars yeah. in Black Hollywood. Mm -hmm. You've got Chadwick Boseman, you got Michael B. Jordan, you got Dinah Guerrera, you got Lapita Nyongo, mm -hmm. you Nyongo, excuse me, you've got. Uh, Daniel Kaluuya from Get Out yeah. and whatnot. You got these upper echelon cats coming together with the legendary actor like Forrest Whitaker, with the legendary actress like Angela Bassett, with the with the Martin Freeman. You got all these coming in, and you just like, oh my God, how do you put this together? And then yeah. Ryan Coogler is the visionary behind uh, it. Mm. When I want him to be my best friend. <laughs> when the woman who who couldn't do it because she had something else to do, Ava DuVernay was like, yeah. "Nah, I'm gonna let you handle it," and she was like, "Trust me." I'm putting it in the right hands. Because, you know, some people are like, wait, okay, can he handle this? Because we saw Creed. We saw Creed. We saw Fruitvale Station. We cried at Creed. <laughs> yeah, we cried at Creed. But we saw Fruitvale Station. Yeah. We saw Creed. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people were like, okay, those are great films. But now you're doing this, which everybody, the comic book fans around the right. world are real sensitive about. And it's a real different ballpark going from something that's really small and intimate to so large scale, but still trying to be small and intimate yeah. at the same time. Which they said he's managed to capture with this. The film being part of the bigger MCU, but still being its own film. Right, right. Yo, so that's that's the dope thing, and we'll see. Ooh, hopefully, we'll see this in this trailer, man. Let's, this is let's this, do it. It's probably my most anticipated movie I know, so it far. Looks so yeah. good. All right, all right. I have seen gods fly. 
I've seen men build weapons that I couldn't even imagine. Wow. Uh -huh. I've seen aliens drop oh, from wow. the sky. Yeah. But I have never seen anything like this. How much more are you hiding? <laughs> I can't tell yeah, you yeah, I'd yeah, have yeah, to yeah, kill yeah. your ass. Guys, I'm so excited. <laughs> Whoa! Wow. Old and new design. My son, it is your time. Show me my respect and bow down. You get to decide what kind of king you are going to be. Don't freeze. I never freeze. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? Wow. Show me my respect. And bow down. We own ya. We own ya. We only getting started now. Cause we own ya. Just gotta think they know me now. He's going through the trials. Oh, oh shit. The nano suit. Yes! I waited my entire life for this. The world's gonna start over. I'm gonna burn it all. What happens now determines what happens. What? what is that? Yes. They want to save for. Able to stay home, what brother. is that? You will not be able to plug in, turn on, and cop out. What kind of forever? The revolution will not be televised. Let's have some fun. Oh, there that oh, is, yo. Yeah. This, yep. Yo. Ooh. The revolution will be live. live. Oh, wow. I was not ready for that. <laughs> Dude. I legit was not ready for Oh my god. Dude. There's so much cool stuff in this trailer. You see we we got the the other uh Black Panther uh, outfit, the golden one yeah. in a sense. Yeah. You see the nanotech Yo, oh my the beauty God. of how they have to sneak, how they sneak into Wakanda, the dome they go through, we saw in the so beginning. Right, right. So oh cool. my God. One of my favorite things coming out of the Marvel panel was when they show, they show uh, Black Panther and the Dormelage going into that casino to try to get yes. Ulysses' uh -huh. claw. Mm -hmm. And how that sort of, that fight sequence unravels itself and how he's chasing them and the uh -huh. car and the nano suit. I was like, this is so, so you guys saw dope. that whole sequence then. Saw the whole sequence. Uh, yeah. when no, it looks like a big chunk of it. Like when they're running out of the city and all yeah, the Yeah, he like runs on going. the side of the building oh, okay. and he changes okay. into Black Panther. Like it was oh, amazing. Wow. I love the I fact had not we seen see something like that. I love the fact we see the nano suits now because everybody was wondering, well, how does he put the suit on? How does right. he get yeah. the suit on yeah. so quick? Yeah. And now we realize it's just like that. He just yeah. has to think about it and it's yeah. on. What I what I really enjoyed about this was uh where it looks like T'Challa is going through the trials of becoming the panther mm -hmm. because he he took over. So when you saw the panthers in the tree mm -hmm. and then everything was kind of crazy, there is a leaf that has to be bestowed on you. Like you have to use this leaf in order to talk to the panther ancestors. And so that was what we were saying. Like that's a big moment in the movie because that's when the panthers decide if he is going to be the king or whether he decides if he wants to take these trials to be the king. Mm. So that's a big, big moment, and and I'm really excited that they showed it. It's just quick, but it, that's going to be huge, real huge. I mean, stylistically, <clears throat> it it looks like Phase Three. That what they're really trying to do is they are trying to let the directors have sort of more of a a vision and a craft, and sort of make it more of their movie. Where I feel like Phase Two, a lot of it was like, well, you have to kind of fit into this mold, which I'm I'm mm -hmm. sure is still the case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I feel like they kind of let Taika Waititi maybe do his version of Thor. Uh, Ryan Kluger do his Black Panther right, right, right. Like, well you have to meet all these parameters yeah. and I think yeah. what that does is it allows the, each of these movies in this new phase to sort of have their own look and feel mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. be different and hopefully look and sound and really kind of suck you into the environment so you mm -hmm. feel like you're really a part of it and I think I that's mean, so important I think that started with Guardians these... of the Galaxy yeah. 2 yeah because yeah. Guardians 2 is its own it's its own film yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know it's Six months after Guardians one, but it's its own film. Right, yeah. it's you, very much standalone. Yeah, yeah, it's very much standalone. This I I like so much. 
the colors to me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. we don't know, you know, if we see a lot of it in Wakanda and we you hear the legends of Wakanda has the old Wakanda that everyone mm -hmm. sees, mm -hmm. but the new technologically advanced Wakanda. And we see both of those. Mm -hmm. We see how he flies in in the ship. Mm -hmm. Like I said earlier, he has to go through the dome and the landing and everything. And it's just all these colors and this bright lights and this, this vibrancy mm -hmm. that it, it is in, in an African kingdom. It's, it's amazing to see the way it's been brought together just in two minutes. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to pretend like I know everything about Africa because I really don't. I have, like from the last trailer, I have a blanket that I brought from South Africa mm -hmm. uh, that is worn in the previous trailer. And I freaked out because it was in there. And uh, also Michael B. Jordan, the bumps on his skin. Do you guys know about the bumps on his skin? Mm -hmm. So there's a tribe or a certain uh, sect of people in Africa. When you turn into a man or your coronation into a man, uh, they believe that the crocodile has the most power. And so in order to become a man, you have to turn your skin into like crocodile texture. So what do they do? They pinch your skin and with the razor. They slice you. They slice you all over your body in the pattern of a crocodile, and that's why his body was all bumpy like that. I was curious about that. Yeah, so and so, keloid, so okay. Yeah, so it's like scarification. It's scarification yeah. on your body, and so they 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 scar they scarify you in in the crocodile pattern. So it's going to be interesting to see wow. his backstory as well, yeah. because he's from that certain sect of people that he had to go through something terrible. Could right. you imagine doing yeah, that? As a child. It's like, Thousands of cuts all over your body. How do you not die from infection, first of all, because you're in Africa? Mm. Like, they're not taking you to well, a hospital for this. Well, you're also, we're talking about Africa, true, but in this nation of Wakanda. Wakanda right, words, right. It's How does he play into that, though? Well, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the story is he believe like he's a stepbrother or oh. he's a uh, illegitimate brother. Some something's gonna happen where he's related, where he believes he should have claim to the. Throne. That's maybe right. why Michael B. Jordan has a panther suit. Could be, and Michael B. Jordan's panther suit, dude. It's like a, <laughs> it's not even a panther; it's a leopard. If you look, is at it a golden, leopard? Uh, it's like oh, a that's leopard. Right, it's it a is leopard. a leopard. Look yeah. at that. It's a golden yeah. leopard. It's like it is the. The CGI for that alone, the suits alone, are amazing. The look of them, to see the panther versus the leopard, you know, and those also have a bunch of symbolism in Africa and African mm -hmm. tales. Mm -hmm. And to watch that is is phenomenal. To see Mabaka, at, you know, in the comic books, he's the only man aiding. They right. can't call nobody man in 2017. <laughs> no. can't, you can't call you just black. Ditched, I'm sure they're going to ditch the name. You can't I'm call no black man. like I'm not buying a ticket. You're not going to call no black man no man aiding in 2017. You just can't do that. That's not going to be right. But, <laughs> yeah, we're going to call you man aiding not on this script. Uh, right? Not here. But, no. but to see him and still in the, 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 majest, the majesty he has, excuse me, the glory he has sitting on his throne. Right, because, right, again, right. These different tribes, they all want to lay claim mm -hmm. to the throne of mm -hmm. Wakanda. And to see that, to see when T'Challa gets off the plane, the Dora Malashe just seeing it, a bunch of powerful black women just yeah, yeah. who yeah. will beat your ass. <laughs> yes, exactly. When I move, so move I was you. at I was at the Comic Con panel mm -hmm. two years ago when mm -hmm. they were premiering right. uh, Doctor Strange, and they didn't show any Black Panther footage, but Ryan Coogler came out with the entire cast of this movie. So every single prominent black actor that we're seeing here, they all came out and I felt like I was watching history. Like, no joke, yeah. I was like, this has never happened before. We've never had a movie of this caliber Dude. have so much hype. And now I'm really excited because it's. I feel like it's living up to all the hype that I thought was going to be behind it. Well, I think plus I think what's what's so great is now we kind of live in a time where people have been demanding these stories. Mm -hmm. yes. They want their Wonder Woman, they want their Black Panther, they want mm -hmm. their Captain Marvel, mm -hmm. and now finally it's happening. So, of course people are going to run. They're going to sprint to the theater mm -hmm. for this because this is the, the stories that they've wanted. We've had so much Superman, so much Batman, mm -hmm. Iron Man, Thor, mm -hmm. Captain mm -hmm. America. It's like Give me something new that's different, that has a new Here sort go, of baby. world. Here you go. And the production design, like you were saying, all Oof. the costumes. I mean, Oof. it's so intricate, intricately made and it's so colorful. And I think that speaks so much to, like, their culture. Yes. You want right. to – again, we're talking about a fictional land in Wakanda. Sure. But you're grabbing elements from actual from real, African, real history. African history. Yeah. You're yeah. grabbing elements from Ghanaian tribes, Nigerian tribes, mm -hmm. you know, Cameroonian tribes, things of the sort. You're grabbing mm -hmm. all these little bit of elements and you're incorporating them into one. And then yep. you're taking it a, 
a thousand steps higher where you're making this culture mm -hmm. the most technologically advanced mm -hmm. culture in the mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. You know, Iron Man is supposed to be that dude. <laughs> I remember when supposed to, to be supposed real to be. He's like, oh, do you have a kingdom? <laughs> no. Do you or have better, a throne? Or better, or better yet, uh, so like somebody put on Twitter that Tony Stark walks into a uh, like T'Challa walks into a Tony Stark lab. This is nice. He's like, yeah. Do you have one of these in Wakanda? Yeah, in every classroom. <laughs> like, what? Like what? Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. Just makes Tony start like, I, I mean, he's like, I could just old. afford, I could just afford this one. I mean, you wanna, of, uh, what about Friday? I have it Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> like you just shut that all down. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm. It's amazing what two minutes and eighteen seconds can do. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's amazing what what type of emotion two minutes. And, I literally, the, so I've seen this several times. I've watched it, I will admit. I've seen it several times. The first time I watched it, I was almost in tears because, again, this is a comic book character for me as a black male growing up. This is our superhero. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there was Luke Cage. Yeah, there was Blade. But this was our hero. Mm -hmm. And now to see our hero in his own major Hollywood blockbuster film? With this caliber of actors? With this caliber of actors? <laughs> Come Yo, on. come on. I'll even say it. I'm honored to have worked with one of those actors. I'm honored to work with to have worked with the woman that plays his mother. I've done a movie with Angela Bassett. So to watch this and like, yo, my childhood is now being lived mm -hmm. on. I'm getting ready to live this on the big screen. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a surreal moment. Yep. Yeah. Just like every woman in the world felt with Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. Every I know so many black youth that are now my age, older, and some younger who see this and just like, this is one of just the many things we fought for. Mm -hmm. It may mm -hmm. not sound like much to a lot of people, but to have that this hero not need anybody else to back him up. Yeah. Yep. You know, his backup, who his backup is, a bunch of strong black, black women. <laughs> yep, a bunch of badass women. A bunch of badass women. <laughs> that's his backup. Yep. You know, that's that's so dope on so yeah. many levels. And like I told, I told everybody earlier on uh, Twitter, and Facebook, when you see me in the streets now, there's only one way you can greet me. You gotta slap my hand and then cross them arms like that. It's <laughs> the only way you greet me in these streets. Don't, don't, don't hey, Jay, how you do? You gotta bow, bow. That's what we I all. think everybody's gonna be doing that to each other after this movie. I guarantee I think, I, I think, and I, it's so it's so tough because I know we like to a lot of times criticize Marvel because they took so long to make this movie. Mm -hmm. I feel like now, because of how consciously aware everyone is of this genre of movie, mm -hmm. It's almost to their advantage, even yep, though like absolutely. it would have been great to have this movie 10, 15 years ago. But now because of the technology and now because everyone is so aware and it's mm -hmm. such a part of our culture, yep. it allows for a lot more people to go out there and watch this and to kind of be like, yep. oh, I, yep. I am interested. You in this just brought up a good point, And I want to ask both of you gentlemen this. If we would got this 10, 15 years ago, hypothetically, let's even just say 2008, mm -hmm. right when we got Iron Man, let's say we wouldn't have got Thor. We would have got Black Panther right behind it. Would we have had the same quality and caliber of film? I don't think so. I don't believe so. I don't believe so. I think they may have. I think, I think, with a character like this, because of like kind of what it is and how advanced it is, mm. I think maybe what they, and maybe not, but I feel like they would have gone, okay, this is a more obscure character, unknown character. We're just trying to build this universe. Let's give it a lower budget. Mm -hmm. and it's like with this type of a movie, with any, like Black Panther, Wonder Woman, Captain Marvel. It deserves the same exact playing field like an Iron Man movie does. Mm -hmm. Give it exactly that or more. And I was thinking about that because Thor, Thor 1, let's not forget about the CGI and the beauty of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To see what Asgard looks like for it the first really, time. It was mind-blowing the first time. Really to see yeah. Asgard. The Rainbow Bridge, and yeah. yeah, and all that. Especially the Rainbow Bit Bridge, mm -hmm. the Bifrost, yeah. all of that. Yeah. To see that and then you go almost 10 years later. And you you just enhance on what you had already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. you don't change anything; just enhance on it. Mm -hmm. And now you have the, to see the nanotech in Black Panther. <laughs> right, so right, cool. right. Which, first of all, if anybody who has not wanted to see nanotech in, in film, you are really missing out. <laughs> like from so many cartoons, they use yeah. nanotech to see yeah. it now. It's yeah. like it's incredible. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to see that, to see that him taking the claw. Ripping a tire out. Ripping the by the rim. By not the even just rim. the rubber part, the yeah. rim. rim. While it's moving. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And he's just like this. Yoink. No big deal. 
Yeah, it's a big. I mean, it is a big deal that that he's doing what he's doing. You it's, know, it's this is an amazing trip. To, to go back to your question, Jay. Also, this the scope of movies was not the same yeah, back then. Right. You know, like these movies were just in their infancy, and I'm glad. I, in a way, I'm glad it took this long to give this movie the the movie that it deserves, mm-hmm. because it would have been such an injustice to have them treat this movie like they treated Catwoman with Halle Berry right. and Elektra and and have execs Ooh. have the excuse say, oh, well, women just don't sell movies. That's bullshit. You just wrote a shitty movie. Yeah. Like, you greenlit a shitty movie, and yeah. that's the problem. And then you didn't throw any money at it. You didn't throw any advertising at it because you didn't care. Because you, Hollywood exec, assumed that women weren't going to sell movies, so you didn't give it the time of day. I don't think not a nam Hollywood. Yes, I said not a nam. Not a <laughs> nam Hollywood exec will ever say anything else a court in, along that line mm-hmm. when it comes to women selling a film. Oh, after never. the way Wonder Woman oh, had never. shattered uh-huh. records. Mm-hmm. And if they and, do, they're a damn fool. Yeah. So here's been the funniest thing. So after this, after the trailer came out, even after the teaser came out, there's been this whole movement of how many people are going to go to the theater. Well, mm-hmm. myself personally and all of the black people. <laughs> that's all I'm just saying. All of the black people. Just all of them in all the world ever. We are going yeah. in formation, the original formation, not Beyonce's formation. <laughs> We're going in formation like the dance scene from Coming to America. Yes, there's going to be someone flipping down the aisle. It's going to be... We are going in formation. There's a brother going to be called Oha who will be singing your queen to be. Ain't nobody getting married, but somebody will be singing your queen to be afterwards there will be a traditional black church service which means it will last four days okay on the fourth day you will finally go to sunday school now after sunday school there will be a dinner that will be fried chicken of the greens capacities all of the greens yes the mustards the collards and the kales and tennis we will have the sweet potatoes the macaroni and the cheeses not the macaroni and cheese, macaroni and the cheese. Jesus, Jesus. And yeah. we will have a benediction prayer led by the Reverend Dr. Ryan Kugler, okay? <laughs> and that is how we're going for the premiere of the And this is, this is nationwide. This is nationwide. 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 Yeah. nationwide. You, heard, you heard it here on Hyper Heroes first. <laughs> so if you are part of the congregation, if you have a plate oh at the table, okay? A plate. Can I, can I go? You have a plate at the table. <laughs> yes. Okay. I you have go. a We understand what I'm saying. He's invited to the barbecue. Oh okay. God. We will also be doing a weave testing <laughs> treatment with what we will be having the latest is the Dormalache will be testing your lace front for its durability to vibranium. Okay. We will make sure that the nanotechs can deal with sweat and the lining. All right. Sweating. <laughs> oh my god. Sweat gosh. and the lining, Jesus. Oh my god. This is what will happen during the Black Panther premiere. Now I'm also letting you know that if it is an official black holiday, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, no black employees will be coming to work that day <laughs> or the or, next day <laughs> or the next day because they will be hung over with the glory that is Michael B. Jordan also Michael B. Jordan will be dropping his mixtape in the form of Eric Killmonger because his hairdo says he is dropping the firest mixtape of the 2018 holiday season I know the holidays ain't into December but look black people have changed it and made it go in February Jesus <laughs> Also, that boy can sing. <laughs> it was good. It was good, devil. Now, also, I oh need to let it inform you that Chadwick Boseman has now become the new black national anthem singer, okay? <laughs> He has, the, <laughs> even though he might not be able to sing, he might not be able to sing, but he will. Chadwick Boseman will oh lead us God. all and lift every voice and sing all three verses. Okay, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> even those controversial ones. That's not the. That's the, that's your regular. That's one. the fourth that's, one. No, that's y'all voice. Oh, We're okay. talking about lift every voice and sing the black national oh, anthem. Okay? Oh, okay. With the red, okay. black, and green. Okay, <laughs> I'm telling. Oh Dashikis my God. will be available on your local corner. For twelve ninety five, these are a cotton blend, no polyester. Can I, can I not wear those but still go? You can not wear those and still go. Okay. You get your plate okay. at the table. All right, good. All right. Good. <laughs> <laughs>
I just want to let y'all know what is happening during the premiere of the Black Panther movie. Because it is a celebration, bitches. Like, we are going, we are going to dig up the ghost of Rick James. We're going to sprinkle Prince's purple dust everywhere. Because Prince needs to be here for this. Yep, yep, I agree. I agree with we that We're finding one. Michael Jackson's skeleton, putting all type of plastic on, you know what, I'm stop. <laughs> There's no way I am not going to watch this movie yeah, with you. I, yeah, I know. We, we, need to, no we need to go with you, actually. Okay, I, God. Uh, you are yeah, invited that to just come along with me. Uh, Marvel, if you are watching, I would like to request three passes <laughs> in the black section. Now, what is the black section? I would like there to be a bottle of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Uh, I would like a beer, a beer of the malt liquor type. Preferably the, the the champagne of beers, okay? <laughs> Don't you bring me no IPA. I'll slap that dog shit out you. All right. I'm sorry. Just... We're going to go on all night. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, y'all got I can't see. go after that. That's it. That's, like, That's the show. No way that I That's can the reaction to this trailer. This you can let us know it's in the comments good. what you thought. I'm going to go cry some more of laughter. <laughs> Jay, thank you for being where, here. Where, you, where you at on the internet, Jay? You? Find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, my people, at Mr. Jay Washington. The revolution will be televised, <laughs> live streamed, and on your fire stick. Mr. Jay Washington. J-A-Y-W-A-S-H-I-E-G-T-O-N. Good luck. I, uh, L, L underscore Santa Taco. He's from in Adam Lavick. <laughs> Subscribe. Follow Jay. For the love of God, follow Jay. We'll see you back here when uh, we review Black Panther because it's going to be a sight to see. Bye. Oh